A very good evening aspirants. Welcome to another special video brought to you by Shankar IAS Academy. In this special video, we are going to see about the notification for SSA EPFO 2023. See a few days ago, we saw about the notification for the recruitment of Enforcement Officer and Assistant Provident Fund Commissioner in Employee Provident Fund Organization. Now in this special video, we are going to see about the notification for the recruitment of SSA. It is expanded as Social Security Assistant in EPFO. See, those who want a government job, don't miss this opportunity, okay? This is a wonderful opportunity. Now, let us uh, straight away get into the details of this notification that you should know uh, before applying for this post, okay? First of all, let us see the basic details for applying for the post of Social Security Assistant. As you already said, the post name is SSA EPFO and the important detail here is the vacancy. The total vacancy announced is 2,674. The detailed vacancy position in the cadre of SSA is given here in this table. You just go through it, okay? In this table, category-wise and state-wise vacancy is given. And like I already said, the total vacancy is 2,674. And the pay scale for this post is level 5. See, if you want to apply for the post of SSA, then you can do it through online mode only. You should fill the application form through online mode only. And the application date, that is, the window time period that is given to you for applying for this examination is from 27th March 2023 to 26th April 2023. So, the last date for applying for this examination is 26th April 2023. Don't forget this. Apply for this examination before this date itself, okay? And now about the examination date. See, till now, the examination date has not been announced. It will be announced later through public notice on the official website. I have given here the official website and the website in which you have to download the admit card, okay? Keep this for your reference. Now, let us move on to see about the eligibility criteria. First of all, let us see the educational qualification. See, if you want to apply for this examination, you should possess a bachelor's degree from a recognized university as on the closing date for online registration of application. That is, before 26th April 2023, you should have a bachelor's degree in your hand. One important thing that you should know here is that those who are awaiting results for the final examination of your graduation should not apply for this examination. Say you have written your last semester in your bachelor's degree and you are waiting for your results. Then you are not eligible for this examination. Before 26th April 2023, you should have a bachelor's degree in your hand. Okay, And this is regarding the educational qualification. Now, there is this other qualification which requires a typing speed of 35 words per minute in English or 30 words per minute in Hindi on computer. See, I'll tell you about this particular qualification later in this video, okay? For now, let us move on to the next eligibility criteria which is the age limit. See, people who are between 18 years to 27 years as on the closing date of online application, they are eligible for SSA post. Also know that age relaxation is also there. I have given here the information about age relaxation for each and every category. For SCs, STs, OBC, ex-servicemen, persons with benchmark disabilities. You just go through it. And finally, the most important part, which is the scheme of examination. See, this SSA examination, it will be conducted in two stages. One is computer-based examination, it is the phase 1 and the other one is computer typing test, it is the phase 2. Now let us see how the computer-based examination will be. The phase 1 examination, they are all objective type tests. The first one is general aptitude, it will contain 30 questions and the total marks allotted for this section is 120. And then there is general knowledge and general awareness. It will also contain 30 questions and the allotted marks is 120. And then there is quantitative ability. It will contain 30 questions and 120 marks. And the fourth section is general English with comprehension. It will contain 50 questions and for this section 200 marks will be allotted. And the final section is computer literacy. It will contain 10 questions. And the total marks is 40 for this section. 
totally there will be 150 questions and the total marks is 600 the duration that will be given to you for attempting all these questions that is 150 questions is 2 hours and 30 minutes that is totally 150 minutes see 150 questions and 600 marks means each question carries 4 marks okay and the marks obtained in phase 1 will be considered for final selection so you have to score as much as possible in phase 1 For your information negative marking is there for this examination for each wrong answer 1/4 of the mark will be deducted now let us move on to phase 2 see phase 2 is about computer skill test in this skill test candidates are assessed based on their speed and accuracy for data entry work See earlier in the video we saw about other qualifications right here only the other qualification becomes relevant so while you are tested for your speed and accuracy you have to maintain a typing speed of 35 words per minute in english or 30 words per minute in hindi on computer see this computer skill test is a qualifying test you have to pass this test to be considered for the final selection It is like CSAT and the UPSC Civil Services Examination. It doesn't matter whether you clear GS paper one or not. You have to clear the CSAT paper. Then only you will be considered for the final selection. Like that only. Here also, only if you clear the computer skill test, you will be considered for the final selection. So each and every day, practice typing at least forty words per minute in English. Okay. If you are a person who is going to opt for Hindi. try at least 35 words per minute in hindi on computer then it will be very easy for you to clear this test okay it's like the saying practice makes a man perfect so practice a lot and you will definitely clear this computer skill test now finally let us see about what books to refer see regarding general aptitude and quantitative ability you can refer r s agarwal book quantitative aptitude And for general English with comprehension, you can refer Objective General English by S. P. Bakshi. For computer literacy, you can refer Computer Awareness by Arihant. And for general knowledge and general awareness, you have to read newspaper and you have to cover the basic parts like polity, economy, history, general science, environment, etc. See, these are only needed for clearing this examination. So don't think twice. apply for this examination study all these books and refer the current affairs make a plan stick to it and you will definitely ace the examination don't forget to comment share and like and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to shankar ai's academy's youtube channel to get more updates like this thank you